Hey everybody, I'm back. This is, I think, part 13 or 14 of the e-commerce series. So in this video, it's gonna be really short. It's just going to be upgrading some Android stuff. So let's go ahead and update it. Let's go to file. I think I have it open recently, the Android e-commerce app, and I'm gonna go ahead and, well, it has this little prompt here, you know, Android Gradle plugin update recommended. Go ahead and hit update. I haven't messed with this project in at least a few months, whenever the last video was. I'm gonna go back to the old studio or the old other project I had open and close it. So Gradle is syncing right now and we're just gonna upgrade a bunch of stuff. So that would have upgraded in Gradle and it looks like it's done. So in Git, you can do Control K and if you don't have it set up, you, I'll probably get to that in, in a different video, but it upgraded some stuff for us. So it got 3.3.3.1 is now 3.40. It also updated something in our uh, Gradle wrappers property file. So if you don't, if you, you can hit Control K to get to this, but only if you have Git enabled. So just hang on for now. Um, so that seemed to work, but there's some other stuff we want to do. If we if you go to if we go to the build.gradle file for the module, you'll see if you go to target SDK version, it's 27. Click on there and do Alt Enter, and then upgrade it to 28. And that's going to complain about something else. So now this is complaining. Hey, you know, as a compile SDK version should be lower. Uh, click on it, control enter, set that to 28, save it with a control S or save however, and let's sync it again. So I'll just wait and wait while this finishes. We're also going to transfer this project over to Android X when this is done. So I think that all worked out. It's complaining about some stuff. Let's go ahead and go to, I think it's under build, or it's under code. Where is it? Refactor, yeah. So under refactor, migrate to Android X, and you might wanna back it up first, but I'm not going to, because I have it in Git. I have it on GitHub, I have it on my other MacBook Pro. Uh, it's gonna give us a bunch of stuff. Go ahead and do refactor. That'll go through everything and update it. It's really important to sync Gradle. Uh, I usually use the keyboard shortcut, or you can use one of these. I think that's it right there that button, yes, sync project. So that just happened, I think. But still inside of the build.gradle file, you'll notice that we have some older stuff. So go ahead and click on there. And you can tell because that's highlighted, like that's highlighted, those three things are highlighted. Click on it and do option enter or alt enter, and then just change it to the, to the latest. So that's 1.1.0 and it's saying, hey, 1.1.1 is available. So click on it, uh, alt enter, enter, alt enter, enter, Go ahead and save that and then sync it again. Is that save? My computer's freezing up. There we go. It's syncing, I think. Or no, it's not. Go ahead and hit the sync button. And this, we kind of have to do this because I haven't opened this up in like a couple of months. So it's kind of outdated, like 27. And not outdated, but just it's better to be on the latest. So I wa want to make sure before we leave, I want to make sure this works. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, open up some of these files just to make sure they work. We have main activity, that seems to be good. Um, and then again, if you do, and if you have Git enabled, and I, I'll talk about it in a future video, if you do Control K, you can see exactly what changed. So we can just go through these files. So you can see that, hey, net used to be 3.3.1, now it's 3.4.0. It also upgraded that. It's changed Android.support from that to Android X.test. So they're kind of getting rid of some of the support library stuff. It's all migrating over to Android X. So you can see all the changes here. These are all the files that it just changed, that we just changed a moment ago. And again, this is a little bit boring, but we need to do this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and run it, and I just wanna make sure that it works. So that's my only goal here, is just to make sure that it still runs, that it's still compiling, that it still works, and then we can begin on doing stuff in the other video. And it didn't work. It is because, hold down the shift, and we can see slice. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to run, I'm gonna go to build clean. I think I did everything all right. Let me check. Let's just run this one more time just to make, I think it ran just fine. Huh, let's, let's run it one more time again. I did a clean and let's just see what the issue is. It's still giving me that error, let's see what it is. I mean, is split resources. Let's check my resources really quick. I think my layouts are fine. I'm trying to think of, did I mess 28, 28? I might need, I might, what? I'm trying to think of what's going on here. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to need this later because we're going to add a room dependency. So let's go ahead and add this. 
just so we have it. So say, I'm going to go ahead and save it and then sync that. And I think we upgraded Gradle. We upgraded the SDK to 28. Saved. It's synced all right. Let's go to run one more time. Let's see if it runs this time. Android Studio. Let me actually read this. I didn't have time to read it. You can always say app build and let's, let's Let's do this. Let's go to build. Let's go to build rebuild project. Let's see if this works because we did update a lot of files. And so I just want to make sure that it's working and it's going to rebuild. This could take 30 seconds. It could take 60 seconds. I think it finished. Did it finish already? Let's try to build one more time. And if this doesn't work, then I'll just pick it up in the next video. Build and instant instant run. Oh, instant run. How do you disable instant run? Instant. I'm going to do something. I'm going to go ahead and go to file. I'm going to go to invalidate cache and restart. Invalidate and restart is good. I'm going to go ahead and close the emulator. Oh, I had the emulator open. Maybe that was it. Something like that. You know, all the time, like every day I see hundreds, not hundreds, but I see dozens of errors. I see, you know, all day long I just see errors and I have to Google it and Stack Overflow and just kind of figure it out. That's kind of what, as a developer, you're kind of paid to do. You're paid to figure stuff out. And, you know, I get help from a lot of other people at work, but we also, I also do a fair amount on my own. Let's just index scenes. I'll just wait for this to index. And it's syncing. I bet you this has worked. I bet you it had to do with instant run. If not, I'll just Google the error and figure it out. But let's wait for this to finish up. And then in the next video, we're going to create a database, I think. We're going to use Room, where we can have some offline support, where if you want to do shopping and you don't have internet, you can do that. OK, run it. It's going to prompt for the emulator. I usually check use same selection for future launches. Select the device you want, hit OK, and this should open up the emulator. And this should not be from Instant Run, at least I hope. And I hope this works. Yeah, we needed the Ply plugin Kotlin cap, so we get the same error. So I'm going to go ahead and Google this really quick and see if we can't figure this out. Just a second. I'll just copy that for now. Let's do Android. I'm on another monitor here. Let's just see what we need to do. So it says, so we need, yeah, we do need to, to disable instant run and that should work. So we can go to file settings. Let's go to file. And then we should have settings here. And then we can go under, what did it say to go under? I think it was build execution deployment, instant run. And let's disable that, hit OK, save it. I'm going to run it one last time, and hopefully this will work. So yeah, in to say, I never use instant run. It's more pain than anything else. I mean, I just don't use it. So I think, hey, I think it worked. Did it work? I'm going to close that, go back to here. Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to resize the window to make it a little bit smaller so we can see our emulator. So I'm going to hit, where'd it go? I'm going to hit run. And it should build, and it's working. Okay, cool. So this is a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be, but it's really important that we keep our code up to date. Like 28 is the latest API. Um, we need to up, we need we needed to upgrade some of our other stuff also, like our uh, 1.0.2. The versions need to be updated. So this is kind of a boring video. In the next video, we'll actually do something excited. Before I leave, I'm going to press Control K because I have Git set up here. And this is basically telling you all the files that changed in the last, what, five minutes. So I can kind of go through here and see what all changed. These are different files. You see a list of them up here. That changed a little bit. This is kind of a cool view. So like when we went up to refactor, then migrate to Android X, it did all this stuff for us. It changed it from android.support over to com.google.android.material.appbar. So I'm going to type in a message here. We'll call it uh, upgrade. Uh, Great, great. I'll just name it that for now. Hit come. I'm going to uncheck those. Hit commit. And this should save it. So if I want to go to version control, I can hit on version control and go to log. And I can see, yeah, I have initial commit. That was last year. I can see every single video I've made. I can see exactly what I changed. So like if I want to go back to video number 11 or whatever, I can come in here and say, hey, let's open up in a different monitor. But I can go back to this 
uh, October 20th and see, hey, this is what I changed there. Um, I made uh, put a log statement there. You can see exactly what changed. So Git is invaluable. So it get, gives a list of all the different snapshots. You can see that happened just now. That's the upgrade Gradle. I can see the difference. All those files changed. So in this video, not didn't really do a whole lot. But in the next video, we'll do something. We'll probably do database support. So I'll see you in the next video.